Yeah, I remember reading they were pretty big in computer science. I like the architecture of the buildings. Some postmodernist renaissance um modernist vibes there. Nice recovery. Good morning. It is a classic 6.41 a.m. I woke up five times last night. But I want to get an early start and um, go ahead and go to the high point. It's actually quite chilly out today, so I put on a light jacket, you know, in preparation for some freak storm that might come out. This feels very unsafe. Like this thing's just gonna blow over any minute. Big, need to lose some weight. Mm. It's 50 feet down, they said. That is a pretty somewhat sunrise, somewhat not. Dateable. Just made it to Ohio Pile State Park. I don't know why it's not called Pennsylvania Pile State Park. I guess it doesn't ring as well as Ohio Pile. But there's a cool waterfall over here that we're going to go see. And then some people were rafting back at the visitor center, so we'll go check that out too and get them on camera without their consent. Imagine being told you have to pay to camp here and this is what you get to cook. Look at that. Your own stick, <laughs> nice. Is this dirty to you? Gotta do it for the vlog.
One of the guys was talking about the passengers on the plane. When they were deciding um, how to thwart the mission, they realized that, all right, we're the only ones that know this is kind of a terrorist thing going on. So either we can strike now, and if they would have, as soon as they figured out that they knew that it was a terrorist mission, if they would have tried to take over the plane then, they would have crashed into a city. So they're like, we need to mitigate loss of life. So they did it over a Pennsylvania field, and it was like, ugh. It's heavy, and they did all in like a 30 minute time frame where they realized it's a terrorist attack, it's also a suicide mission, and what are you gonna do about it, and how are you gonna do it? It's admittedly hard to transition from the uh, Flight 93 Memorial, so I figured it's the best time to go see uh, where Mr. Rogers is buried. It's in a cemetery in Pennsylvania here. It's over in this uh, mausoleum. I'll put the camera on him now. I don't know if you can go in. His last name's not given. Can we go in? That's a no. Where's bread? Oh, he's down here. That's a good view of the uh, Highlands, Southern Highlands here in Pennsylvania. We have successfully made it to a Pittsburgh parking lot. Um, they asked me like a library or cafeteria or museum or something like that. I have no idea what that means, so I just shot out the first word that came out and just shot at a library and they gave me this. So, um, yeah, let's go see Carnegie Mellon. All right, scratch that last part. I found meter parking at the school, which is a lot better. So we're just gonna tour this place and then go on to the next thing. Wow. It's their business school. Guy's name David A. Tepe Tepper Tepper. You guys think it could rival Brian Business School at UNCG? Probably not. I've run out of ideas here. Yeah, I remember reading they were pretty big in computer science. I like the architecture of the buildings. Some postmodernist renaissance um modernist vibes there. Nice recovery. I don't even know why I'm wearing a jacket. It's like 83 degrees outside. It's no longer chilly for sure.
There's the stadium where the Steelers play. Looks like there's already an event going on. They play on Saturdays. Hello. You did it, Edgar. 150K. Here's to 150,000 more. Unless you break down in the middle of nowhere. So we found where we're going to be staying tonight. It's at this uh, nice church that's about two or three miles from where we'll begin tomorrow. What are we begin tomorrow? Kinzua Bridge State Park is where we'll start tomorrow. All right. Good night. See you in the morning.